right here is we have six, that's right, six lights. That's what we figured would be the best. We kind of laid out a concept, I'll show you that right now, for the shop. Looks really good. We've got six of them at 40 watts from Hyperlight. And these LED lights are gonna be really great for what I need for the shop. And one thing is these lights are advertised as vapor tight lights and they're also explosion proof, which is really good for me as I'm going to be painting and utilizing these lights for my painting process. And here's another box. And we actually did a lot of research on what types of lights I wanted to use and also how we wanted to wire them in. One of the main reasons why we went with the hyper light lighting is because with it being 40 watts, you could actually string together up to 18 lights in a row. So I'm only doing six, but they're all gonna be done right in a row wired together. So that way when I flip the switch, all the lights come on, foolproof, don't have to worry about it. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start to, well let me just show you how the lights look. I haven't even taken a look at these. So we got our hardware, of course, and these seem to be some brackets, so that's all cool, that's nice. Hyper light, LED lighting, user's manual, we'll take a look at that if we need it. Right, so yeah, that is just what I suspected for this little bong right here. This piece right here is gonna go into this end. This will come out, the wiring will come through. This little bulkhead fitting is going to allow the next wires on the other light down the stream to go ahead and connect into the other light. So I'm gonna have two, four, six lights total, three rows of two lights. Let's just go ahead and get these mounted and run wiring and see how they look. I don't know if you can tell, but right now, I mean, my camera is pretty good, dude, but it is. It is really dark in here right now. These lights are going to make a huge difference, especially, especially once the sun goes down. So the installation of these lights is really quick, easy, and simple. So what we have right here, it comes with these two brackets and you can just see I have one up already in the area that I want to mount it. So the way that it works is there's this little U-shaped bracket and then if you can see right here, this, you take that and it clips in right there after it's mounted up. Now another cool thing is if you can see this little bracket, it can bend and then it's not going to hold as well. But after you get it mounted up, the kit actually comes with this long screw, that long screw, so this would be up just like that. This long screw goes through just like that. And then you put the nut in on the other side and it actually pulls it together. Once it's pulled together, it can never open back up. And if it can't open back up, the light cannot drop down. So it's really secure and it's really easy to install. Now that it's in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that really long bolt. And then since the area that's receiving the actual light is actually longer than the bracket itself, you have a little bit of play as well, which is nice because as you stand back, you wanna make sure all the lights are right in a row and 
with the way that these are designed, it's going to be really easy to do that. Man, so at this point of the video, the sun is going down and it is the moment of truth. We want to see what the shop looks like. So let me go hit that switch. Damn. Dude, that is so that is so bright. It is like it's like it's still daytime in the shop right now, dude. Check that out. So as you can see, it looks really good. We've definitely made some good progress in this video. Now, as far as these lights go, if you're interested in purchasing anything like this for your shop, your house, your garage, whatever it may be, I have some information in the description down below that you may be interested in if you want a discount. Wink, wink, check that out. Now, in the next video, we're going to continue working on the inside of the shop. What I wanna do is I wanna paint everything. I want this shop to have a lot of the feel of the last shop, but some flair that's separating it from the old space to the new space, making it different, making it fresh, making it cool. But again, also still wanting it to be familiar with my signature style, so I cannot wait to show you guys all that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment. I wanna hear what you think about all this stuff. Subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. I'm out.